I'm constipated? I mean... Hey folks, welcome to GeekBeat. I'm John P. And today we're talking Wi-Fi. How to hack it, how to map it, and how to... I got it. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Netflix. If you value your privacy and freedom, it's been tough to follow the tech news lately. First came word the NSA was logging all of our calls, then came news of PRISM, which allowed the NSA to sift through pretty much everything else we do online, something they've been doing since 2007, by the way. But the NSA may be the last of your worries because it's a dangerous Wi-Fi world we're living in. You've heard of Wi-Fi. Well, meet Why Spy. I'm constantly running into people who have no idea what war driving is. We're talking about geeks who drive around looking for unsecured Wi-Fi access points and log them complete with GPS coordinates. Did you know you can download a free program for PCs from netstumbler.com or use Wi-Fi Mapper and then just drive around collecting information about every access point you pass? It's been available for years, and links to them are in the show notes at geekbeat.tv forward slash 675. So if you aren't using security on your access point, I can guarantee you someone knows about it. And that means you're in a big database that the bad guys share with each other so they can hop on open networks and do nefarious things. On the opposite end, there are the casual users of unsecure Wi-Fi, like vacationers who notice that while there's no Wi-Fi at the lake house they're renting, there's some unsecure wireless access point showing up when they scan for service. Or maybe the guy who's figured out there are some very directional high gain Wi-Fi antennas that can reach the neighbor's house from a distance. But freeloaders beware. ID thieves routinely offer unsecure Wi-Fi access in order to steal passwords and personal data. For example, it's easy to set up a cheap router and let everyone connect to it so you can watch all the unencrypted traffic on the network using a network protocol analyzer, like Wireshark. That's why Google and other email providers started implementing SSL for accessing email. But most of the things you do online happen in the clear. So anyone with access to the network, not just the person who set up the router, can watch everything you're reading, typing, and looking at. Dave. Uh so be careful what you're doing when you're on an unsecure network, or at least use a network encryption tool to further secure your traffic in the event someone manages to get in. Check out the links on our website at geekbeat.tv forward slash 675 for some suggestions. Speaking of hacking, over the long 4th of July holiday, I was watching Netflix and I found an awesome movie, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Oh, it's a different kind of hacking, by the way. Anyway, the guy who played the sidekick in A Knight's Tale, you know, the one who likes to fight all the time. Alan Tudyk. Pain. Those of pain. Yeah, that guy. Also, it's the guy who played the sidekick in the TV show Reaper. Tyler Levine. Yeah, that guy. Anyway, they play a couple of hicks who buy this cabin in the woods and a bunch of college kids show up and just start throwing themselves into wood chippers and stuff. It's good clean fun for the whole family. Well, maybe not the whole family. Anyway, if you don't have Netflix, you need to head over to netflix.com forward slash geekbeat and get your free account and watch all these shows I just mentioned in the next 30 days for free. After that, it's just eight bucks a month, so you can either buy one movie ticket at the theater or have an unlimited supply. What are you waiting for? Let's talk about something more fun than getting your Wi-Fi hacked now, shall we? How about how to get your Wi-Fi, period? as in how to make sure yours is working. First of all, Android users rejoice. You can get the awesome Wi-Fi analyzer for free, which will let you see all the access points around you at any time and also determine how crowded the channels are. If you're trying to run a network in a busy area, it's likely most people are bunched up on default channels. Log into your router and manually set your Wi-Fi channel to the one that has the least conjection. Conjection. Congestion. <laughs> It can literally double or triple your speed. If you're on iOS, good news! You can get the Wi-Fi analyzer for iPhone. Bad news, you have to jailbreak first. 
Anyway, there's nothing like it for iOS, so why don't you just keep your iPhone, but go get a little Android tablet like the new 7-inch Hisense Pro at Walmart for $149. Full review coming soon. Once you're running all over the house checking Wi-Fi strength, you might as well map it. And then for users on a Mac, there's an amazing app you can get from the App Store called NetSpot. With NetSpot, you can draw or even import a map of the area and then just walk around with your laptop mapping out the sig signal strength of your network. How awesome is that? There's a free version and a pro version. You can also get an app for Android called Wolf Wi-Fi Pro that will help map out wireless signals. But iOS users, again, are out of luck. Actually, that's because Apple banned all the wireless mapping tools. I guess they figured you guys might hurt yourselves or something. Who knows? They have pornography. And stop running around with scissors before we have to take them away. Okay, I'm done now. Do you guys know of any awesome Wi-Fi tools? Stop by and share them on the Google Plus Geeks community or in our IRC channel at geekby.tv slash live. Or you can always tweet them at John Pose, and Callie and I will pass them along to everyone else. It's time for me to wirelessly beam out of here. Dave? Dave, you gotta fix that thing. I can't be walking everywhere. Ken! I'm constantly running into people who have no idea what war driving is. We're talking about phones that like to ring in the middle of a show. Dave! Not because you're heavy, because I'm weak. Oh. <laughs> <Not 'cause> you're... <laughs>